Mr. Larity's gonna be on TV with the president. This is so exciting! How do I look? You look gay. Thank you! Then my protein shake diet is working! Dude, how did we win the Presidential Medal for Children's Entertainment? By creating a little game called Downed Powerline, a ride the whip. Very educational. Turn that off! Mr. Larity is gonna be on! The president is now walking from the hotel to his car. He is on his way to the educational entertainment ceremony to present awards for achievement in educational media. Thank you, and uh, good to see you. Hey, uh, Reagan, this is for my pal Jody. Uh, Stop shooting. Quit it. Holy crap, why is my dad in a video game? Ow. Get out of there, bro! Ow. Oh, God! Sorry, kid. Freedom ain't free. Oh. See that, Jody Foster? Are you impressed? I love you, Jody. I'm a little impressed. Ladies and gentlemen, the president has been shot. I repeat, the president has been shot. Hey, did you see me out there? I tried to draw fire with the child to save the president. I'm an American hero. But what about the child's welfare? Typical liberal media advocating the rights of children. Take this, Pinko! Police found the Wham! single Careless Whisper on Hinkley, as well as a video game called My Pal Jody, a game in which a player kills a world leader to impress actress Jodie Foster. Oh my gosh, Dave! That's your game! There is no such thing as bad press, dude. Just ask Charles Manson. Yeah! I like that one part of the movie where Reagan was all like, Quit shooting me, bro! Ow! That was funny. Hey, everybody! You see me on TV? I am a god darn hero! I think you might be confused about what the definition of a hero is. Who's the new fella? That's Mary, dude. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Oh, well, ain't nothing gonna bring me down from this high. Mr. Lairdy, the service secrets are here, and they want to talk to you or something. They must be here to give me my medal for bravery. Yeah! Who in here is responsible for the video game My Pal Jody? Me, dude. If you want me to sign a copy, it'll be $50 signing fee, payable now, cash. Unless you've got dope, in which case, let's burn. What the hell caused you to create the game? Ah, yes, I remember that pitch. I remember it well. As I recall, I was incredibly stoned when I developed... You see, my game is about impressing... Jodie Foster. If you do enough backflips, you impress Jodie Foster. Isn't that genius? But Jodie won't be impressed for long. So I thought, how do you really impress Jodie Foster? I got it. Shoot a f***ing world leader. It's so f***ing simple. It was staring me right there in the face. So then I put it on the screen. And that is how you win. You're welcome. I must admit, I tried to impress Jodie Foster often. I gave her flowers. I bought her chocolates. Created the pet food scare of 82. I just thought if her cat got sick, and I had the only antidote. It's only natural that I'd be her hero. Todd, 300 cats died. Oh, Mary, you slut. That is a small price to pay for love. I love that game, Davy. Here's your Christmas bonus. Yeehaw. Yeah. You like that gold bars, don't you? Take it. Take it. Yeah, take it all, you golden pile of South African butt sluts. Dave, cut it out. At the time of the attack, John Hinckley was carrying a copy of your game. You might as well have shot the president yourself, son. Wait a minute, dude. My game is about a world leader named Ray Gun. Gun, G-U-N. That is totally different from President Reagan. We need you to come with us and answer some questions, sir. Wait, are you taking him to jail? I like bad boys. Hi, Dave. If you all have any questions, please address them to Wrath of Bong. Only he knows why I do things. Isn't that right, Wrath of Bong? Wrath of Bong! Wrath of Bong! I bought this bong at a canteen on Tantooine. Ah, Dave, once again, mixing mythologies. I say come on. Ah, oh, great, now I'm not drunk anymore. Yes, that is better, that is what I'm talking about. I'm live at the Rapeville Penitentiary where John Hinckley and Dave are awaiting trial for the attempted assassination of President Reagan. I have just been given the exclusive that a third man is wanted in the case, George Michael of Wham. His single, Careless Whisper, was found on Hinckley, leading some to refer to the defendants as the Sunnyvale Three. Excellency, I need that up. The Sunnyvale Three. Also corn the freeze, punk in a bitch which I have registered with the Library of Congress. I see. 
Warden, if the Sunnyvale Three are convicted, Game of Vision head Big T Larity stands to lose everything in the inevitable civil suits brought by Jodie Foster and President Reagan. Though your thoughts have no bearing in the facts, I wonder if you'd like to make an uninformed comment. I also invented murder. Wonderful. Back to you, Don. Are you sure this is the place? This is what is listed as his residence in the United States. George Michael, we have you surrounded. Please come out or we will shoot you repeatedly. George Michael, come out and keep your hands where we can see them. Hardballs, eh? We're going in. Go, go, go! George Michael, you are hereby formally accused of writing and performing the song which abetted the attempted assassination of President Reagan. What's this all about? It's about a very, very careless whisper. And you're gonna go away for a long time. Can you just give me a second? Randy, can you get down here, please? All right, then. What can I do for you? All right, people. We got to cover our tracks. If anybody asks where Dave is, you just say, who? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Moving on. Dave never existed. But if he did, he created that game on his own and snuck it into production. But if Dave gets busted, won't it look bad for game I appreciate your concern, fella. Hello? Breasts? Lay out the cream pies, Chunky. Mother... Dave's been my partner for years. We can't just sell him down the river when times get tough. Dang it, Jerry, this don't concern you. Besides, I got no connection to this game. But, bro, what about this commercial that we made? Howdy, kids! How would you like to date a sexy, available Hollywood actress like Jodie Foster? You think she's gonna date somebody who ain't killed a world leader? No siree, bye. Well, you got to impress her by playing my pal Jody, a new game from Game of Vision. Now, Miss Foster will be impressed by you doing such things as backflips, setting wildfire, she loves it, and by killing the evil world leader, Ray Gunn. No, oh, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> Bye today. My name's Big T Larity, and it's world leader killing time. Players confused by the seeming lack of patriotism and or humanity involved in marketing a game about killing a world leader should understand that this game is actually an endorsement of the U.S. economic policy and that it values profit motive above human life and dignity. Thank you and enjoy. My pal Jody from Game of Vision. God darn it, this game's gonna drain my meatballs like a Swedish nursing student. Yeah, talk to me, bro. We're screwed! When Dave loses this case, the company's gonna be held liable. I'm gonna lose all my sweet, sweet money. I'd rather be dead and rich than poor and alive. Hold up, Big T, wait! I'm too handsome for a face shot. Come to think of it, only ugly people commit suicide. Woo! You dodged the bullet there, Dino. You won't have to be scarred by seeing your old man take his own life. Scarred like I was. Grandpappy hung himself at my preschool Christmas pageant. That's cool. No, there's a better way. Hey, Ugly, get my legal team on the phone. Looking good, Davey. Thanks, dude. You know, this jail thing's kind of like summer camp, except with lots of rape and, and a lot less sun. Damn it, Dave, you have to take this seriously. This trial could ruin your life. What trial? Dave. Calm down, Jerry. If these lawyer boys know what's good for them, they're gonna help us out. Ain't that right, Cochran? I'm not very happy with this arrangement. I had no choice. Your fee structure is regas darn ridiculous. Fine, but I want my grandma returned safe. All in good time. Alan Dershowitz. Yes? Allie, now you confuse me. I want to love you because you defeated pornography, but I also want to kill you because you love animals. I am a complicated man. As long as we're clear on the deal, you win this case for free. Or I'm gonna let the whole wide world see them naked pictures of your dog. They said it's a deal. And this cow poke is my favorite heartless bastard, Melvin Billy. I am Gorgon. Who has summoned me here? Me, Big T, I summoned you. you call me Gorgon. Only if you win. Dave, I pulled a couple strings to make sure you were tried in the best court in the land. I'm Doug Llewellyn, and this is the People's Court. These are the defendants. John Hinckley, Wham's George Michael, and Dave, a video game programmer from Game of Vision. They are all on trial for the attempted assassination of President Ronald Reagan. And for the plaintiff, we have lawyer Ben Matlock. Mr. Matlock is suing on behalf of the president for attempted assassination. 
He seeks $975.10 for the loss of a day's wages and the bullet damage to the president's suit. Will the shooter shoot straight, or will the plaintiff may bury the defense? Find out in the case of the Prezi Do's and the Prezi Don'ts. Doug Llewellyn is so doable. Who the f is Doug Llewellyn? Please rise. The Honorable Joseph A. Wapner now presiding. Your Honor, I am Gorga. This expert witness will show that video games and violence have no connection. Please state your name. My name is Howell Ivy. I designed the Death Race game. Gorgon asks, the original name of your game was Pedestrian, was it not? Yes, my game is about running people over. Many people have played my game and never ran anyone over. I personally have run people over, but that's just what I do. Ah, object. The witness is a pea-brained simpleton with no more sense than a possum pie in a raccoon den. Sustained. And charm. Gorgon is impressed as well. No further questions, Your Honor. Yeah, go outside and start up the car, buddy. I'm almost out of here. Gorgon calls Wrath of Bong to the stand. Wrath of Bong! Is it not true that you directly ordered my client to make the game My Pal Jody? Gorgon states that this witness is not cooperating. I find the Wrath of Bong to be in contempt of court. Bailiff, load the witness and bring him to my chambers. Wrath of Bong! No! <laughs> this is better than sex. Then you've been doing it wrong. Your Honor, my next witness will establish that Mr. Hinckley was at the scene of the crime. But more importantly, that the game created by Dave was responsible for his actions. The state calls Travis Bickle to the stand. Please state your relationship to the defendant, John Hinckley. He got in my cab. You know, I'm a taxi driver, so I go all over. Sunnyvale, San Jose, Cupertino, don't matter to me. All the freaks come out at night. Pushes, pimps, tech guys, programmers. Someday a great cleansing smog's gonna roll in, you know, and um, I was, once I saw a picture of a commune, you know, it didn't look too clean, so I decided not to go. Dang it, boys, stop that. Now, did John Hinckley say where he was going when you picked him up? He said he was going to go kill the president, but, you know, I don't, I don't listen to people in my cab. I don't, I don't really know nothing, so I, I dropped him off at the Hilton. No further questions, Your Honor. I got appointment for some of those. Settle down. Ten-minute recess. I don't know, Dave. Gorgon and Dershowitz are doing nothing to help you. Wait, who? Um, your lawyers, Dave? Oh, yeah, those guys. At this point, your only hope is to plead insanity. Dude, I'm the only person in this whole place who isn't insane. No, Dave, it just means that you weren't capable of knowing right from wrong at the time you made the game. No, Jerry, I know right from wrong. Occasionally, I choose, well, I mean a lot, I choose to ignore that knowledge. Like when I gave Todd a roofie and left him at the purple helmet, or when I called Claire and pretended to be her dead father. Those things were definitely wrong. But they were wrong by choice, dude. This time, I didn't do anything wrong except use drugs to do my job and make an extremely violent video game. And that's not a crime, dude. That's America. Actually, doing drugs is a crime, Dave. It is? When did that happen? Huh, that's weird. Just tell them you're crazy. Oh. No, because you know what's crazy? Oh. That dude. Can I play with you guys? I want to pretend I'm on a boat made out of Jody Foster. Hey, Todd, Hinkley wants to play with you. What is it? I'm pretending I'm on a boat made out of Jody Foster. Ah, oh, role play, yes. It's been said more than once that I'm somewhat of a master. Let's roll the die, and away we go. And to what wonderful land is this adventure taking us? I'm pretending I'm on a boat made out of Jody Foster. Yes, you said that. It's not a complex campaign, but then again, you're the closest friend I've ever had, so row and stroke. Boat Jody wants you out of her. Very well. I knew it couldn't last. Ah, oh, cruel fate. You've tipped your head again. Welcome home, Jody. Thanks, Jody. Jody, did you pee in the sink? Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, the accused are all white. Jody Foster is white. And the president, Ronald Reagan, is also white. 
No jury in its right mind can be oblivious to the deleterious effect that a lifetime of whiteness has had on all involved. Objection, dang it! Mr. Cochran is obviously playing the race card. It's <laughs> I think Paul's having a stroke. Call an ambulance. Motion denied. I'm gonna see where he's going with this. <laughs> what? You're doing great. That guy's really weird. I am standing here with Andrew Ridgely of Wham. He wants to remind everyone that George Michael is only one half of the supergroup Wham. George Michael is a manky, grotty wanker. First of all, he's stealing all me press. Second of all, I'm the one who thought of the title Careless Whisper. He wanted to call it Imprudent Murmur. <laughs> That's not sexy, baby. I, for one, cannot understand this man, but his charm transcends language. Let's get back to the action. I'd like to call a character witness. The defense calls Todd to the stand. Oh, no. What can you tell us about your good pal, Dave? Well, I will say this about Dave. He is a bully. He is a bore. He is a subpar programmer, not to mention slow-witted. And I would not be surprised if he was behind the entire assassination plot from the start. Permission to treat this witness as hostile, Yana. And as for George Michael, when I whisper, sir, I am very careful. And I suggest you do the same. John Hinckley, however, is a fine and decent man, guilty only of having chiseled features. Isn't it true that like Dave, Hinckley, and Judge Wapner, you too are white? Ha! That is where you are wrong, sir. I am one-eighth hobbit. <gasps> no further question. Hinkley, you and I should seriously hang out. You're awesome. Uh, I'm pretty busy. Now, for some reason, and I'll never know what it is, my lawyers have allowed me to make my own closing arguments. Do you mind if I make myself more comfortable? I'll allow it. Thank you. Look, people. Everyone knows that chicks like Jodie Foster love flips. They also like wildfires and assassinations. I'm kidding. More than kidding, really. I I I'm making a critical statement about violence in entertainment. That boy's a genius. Just because some moron reenacts my game, that doesn't make it my fault. Games don't cause violence. Crazy, selfish people with no conscience or understanding of reality cause violence. People like John Hinckley and, and Ronald Reagan. Makes a lot of sense. Let me make this even more clear with some concrete examples. Let's say I'm a volunteer at a suicide hotline. Some loser calls up and he says he wants to kill himself. I say, go ahead, and he does it. Should I still be paid? I think so, but wait. Okay, here, let's say I get wasted and drive my car into my own living room. What kind of insurance claim do I file? None, because insurance is for pussies. No, wait, that's bad too. Give me a second, I'll get this one. Order in the court. I have reached a decision, and if you haven't noticed, the jury is just for show. Cardboard cutouts. My decision is this. Clearly, Hinckley is not guilty <gasps> by reason of being a moron. Ah, we'll be celebrating at the medieval buffet in a matter of hours, my friend. Mr. Hinckley shall be placed in a psychiatric hospital until he gets limited home visits in 1999, one year before the end of time. Thank you, God. I Wait for you. Now, for George Michael. I just got to have faith. I've got to have faith. Mr. Michael, you are guilty of Careless Whisperer being a horrible song. I impose the maximum sentence, death. <gasps> Rusty? As for Dave, it's obvious that this game caused the assassination attempt. No! Order in the court! My decision will rest on one item, whether Hinckley can present a receipt for the purchase of my pal Jody. Object! The, the game was clearly on Hinckley's person. He said it inspired him. It's irrelevant how he got it. Have you never seen the people's court, sir? It always hinges on whether or not you have the receipt. And in this case, there is no proof that Hinckley bought the game. My judgment is for the defense. Dave, you are free to go. Yes! Sweet justice at last! Mr. Matlock, in your opinion, was justice served? The only thing that was served in this case was more bull crap than a cow made of turds that sleeps in crap and eats f So what's the next step for you? Mm, gonna spend a lot of time with my family. Gonna spend a lot of time having strokes. Indeed. And Dave, how do you feel about the verdict? 
What do you think about the president and the prosecution? Those guys are gay. Whoa, Doug, where'd you get that jacket? Uh, the show gave it to me. What about upcoming game designs? Any lessons learned? I have some hot ideas, Doug. Not gonna lie to you. First is an educational game called Drink the Kool-Aid. And second is uh, one I've been working on for a while. I like to call it Mail Bomber. You need a ride to the psychiatric hospital? Because uh, my mom's got the car running. She's right outside. No thanks, man. Well, hey, we could always be pen pals, right? Let's play it by ear. Wait, I don't have your phone number! Thanks for letting me come to visit you again. You really freaked me out, so promise this is the last time. Uh, of course! I just thought you wanted to know that I have expanded the gameplay elements significantly. You can be either Jody, or you can be Jody's sandwich. But I much prefer the sandwich role, because then you may enter her elementary canal, which allows for separate adventures in both the mouth, esophagus, stomach, and duodenum. Please let me down. No, no I will not. Now. As the sandwich, you have several choices of condiments. None, because insurance is for pussies.